It is just hours after U.S. President Joe Biden declared we have a deal to renew the infrastructure of the United States. But that hasn't stopped the opposition from criticizing the plan. The Senate's top Republican is uh, unhappy with plans to follow the $1.2 trillion bill with another measure for, um, and, of course, another funding plan. Really good meeting. And to answer your direct question, we have a deal. U.S. President Joe Biden on Thursday announced a bipartisan Senate deal had been struck to spend hundreds of billions of dollars on infrastructure projects. The $1.2 trillion proposal came after months of White House negotiations with Democratic and Republican lawmakers, something Biden embraced in his later remarks inside the White House. I'm pleased to report that a bipartisan group of senators, five Democrats, five Republicans, part of a larger group, has come together and forged an agreement that will uh, create millions of American jobs and modernize our American infrastructure to compete with the rest of the world and own the 21st century. The deal has $579 billion in new spending that includes major investments in the nation's power grid, broadband internet, and passenger and freight rail. What we agreed on today is what we could agree on, the physical infrastructure. There was no agreement on the rest. We're going to have to do that through the budget process. What was left out of Thursday's deal was new spending on home health care and child care, key initiatives for some progressive Democrats. The Democrats who control Congress by razor-thin margins aim to cover those areas in another spending package that they want to maneuver through the Senate without Republican votes. One member of the bipartisan group of 21 senators who negotiated Thursday's deal, Republican Rob Portman, said this. We didn't get everything we wanted, but we came up with a good compromise that's going to help the American people. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.